Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to the Hero Version. Guys, we are back in again with another Marvel Legends video. Uh, this is how I'm going to be doing the video. It's late um, and I didn't want to turn on my PC. So I said, you know what? Why don't we just put up the phone, get the lights going and let's just do this kind of you know raw video so that's what we're going to be doing right now uh we are going to be unboxing of course the miles g morales across the spider-verse prowler figure super super excited to unbox this figure uh, i actually got this figure a lot sooner than i thought i was going to get this figure today um from fedex because i ordered this figure i pre-ordered it from hasbro pulse and surprisingly you know I thought I was gonna get this figure later in the day, but I actually got this figure on my doorstep at like 12.40, I wanna say. It was like tw around 12 o'clock, which I was surprised I got it that early in the day. So shout out to FedEx because they actually killed it with this one because it said it was supposed to get it like, I think around like, I think it said initially it was supposed to get it around like four o'clock. It was, it said like one to, it, it could be coming around like 12 to four, but it actually came a lot sooner or something. Um, or maybe it was later than that. I honestly can't remember what the original like, time was but my bro ordered his figure and it said it originally was supposed to come later but it came a lot sooner at least mine did but his came my bro troy's came later because he he you know got also his uh deadpool and wolverine figures from hasbro and they kind of i guess you know released them later on i guess it took a little bit longer for both of his figures to get dropped off on his doorstep but i'm glad that he got them but regardless super glad that i got this figure early when i did um, and of course I'm now getting to unbox it here and I'm actually getting ready I have my paint stuff over here because I'm planning on doing a customization paint job on this figure Um, and, and I can't wait to kind of show off kind of like what I'm what I'm gonna be doing with the paint Uh to give it that really cool across the spider verse vibe But stay tuned for that I'll be dropping pictures over on my instagram and over on my tiktok So definitely make sure to go follow me on both of those and you can go do so in my description and that will take you to my link tree and it'll take you to my social. So definitely go follow me on my TikTok, Instagram, because I will be posting those pictures when the figure is ready. But without further ado, we are going to be getting into this Mile G Morales unboxing. Super, super excited. So let me get out my handy dandy, of course, pocket knife and let's get right into it. Uh, I'm really, really hoping I do not mess up this packaging uh, because like I said, this is kind of that class, classic retro packaging that they've been doing for a lot, of course, of the Spider-Man 90s series. You know, Marvel Legends, I feel like, you know what I mean, This they're kind of going went with that classic packaging. Um, I've noticed that they've really only been doing this for kind of like Walmart exclusives and kind of like Spider-Man retro cards like this is kind of like that retro card packaging they really don't do that a lot with the newer marvel legends i find that they don't really do it as much it all depends on if it's an exclusive or not i find that sometimes they will if it's like if it's for like you know an animated show they'll do it if that makes any sense or if, you know what i mean i feel like yeah they've only done it for like animated shows the retro card box um and comic comic characters i definitely want don't like i said don't want to ruin this box but i did open it up very very well because there is a slip here so i'm going to try to just pull this down right here like so and pull this out hopefully i didn't ruin this box as much i don't think i did i actually think i did a pretty damn good job if i do say so myself like that's what the box looks like i think that looks pretty good um i kind of did a really good job opening that um that's the one thing i don't like about the retro card packaging is because it's very hard to kind of open these boxes without them getting ruined but regardless this is the back of the miles d morales uh you know figure it of course it shows all the other uh across the spider verse figures you can get a part of like kind of second wave that they had like i i think across the spider verse if i'm correct came out i think last year maybe it came, yeah i don't think it came out like 2023 was it 2024 correct me if i'm wrong it's been i guess it's been a minute i want to say it came out in 2024 um but i could be wrong let me know but you of course we have the original miles morales that you can get which is really really cool um to add to your collection if you didn't get it the first time because i believe they had one where he had the leap of faith outfit with the with the the jordans and also the uh what was it and also like the the jacket and shorts i believe they had that figure but they also had the kind of classic suit look that they have but this is kind of a re-release if i'm correct let me know if you have that figure if, if, if it's different i think it's kind of the same figure but they just 
maybe just repainted it and, and added some things. I'm not quite sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, of course, we have the Spider Gwen, but with, of course, with the purple and blue hair, which is really, really cool. Uh, we have Spider Punk. We have a Spider Man 2099 with the actual face sculpt, which is cool because we had one previously in the first wave that didn't have the face sculpt, but it had the mask variant, which, which is still cool, but I think this one's cooler. Uh, and of course, we have Peter Parker, the Peter Parker, of course, of Miles's world, uh, which is cool to have that figure because we didn't have that in the initial Into the Spider-Verse wave. I think we didn't get that figure. We just got Peter B. Parker. Um, and of course, we have Miles G. Morales, which is the one, I, of course, I went out and pre-ordered. And we have, of course, uh, Spider India. So this is really, really cool. Those are, again, that's the picture of the other figures you can get. Um, I believe that they are now available, all these figures, on Hasbro Pulse, Big Bad Toy Store. And I believe, I th actually, no, I think these are just Hasbro Pulse exclusives. I do rem sort of remember that. I believe that these are exclusives. I don't think they're sold anywhere else but Hasbro. I think I, I do remember that. So I think these are just Hasbro Pulse exclusives, but I do think that big bad toy store is getting them because they tend to get like the big the the hasbro stuff even their exclusives and drop them on their big bad toy store i believe that they have them i think up for pre-order i don't know if you can get them right now without getting them via pre-order i'm not quite too sure but you'll have to go check of course at your own time but let me know out of all these ones which one did you get i'm curious but of course we have the figure here out of his packaging right here which is really really cool uh, we, of course, have his mask variant, which I really, really love a lot. I love that Prowler head sculpt. Really, really cool. Love it. Uh, of course, we have two kind of closed closed fists. Or we have one closed fist and then one kind of semi-open closed fist, which is really, really cool. Of course, of course, with these extra hands. And we have uh, his backpack, which is really, really cool. And then we also have the two open claws where he can look like he's clawing. You can actually make, make this figure fight the Miles figure, which would be really, really cool because that's kind of the fight we've, we're all waiting for to see him beyond the Spider-Verse is that match between M Prowler Miles and, and R Miles. That's like a fight of, that's literally a fight like uh, of the ages. Like I'm really, really excited to see that fight go down. I think we all are. I think I, I we were kind of at the edge of our seats when we kind of saw them getting ready to fight one another. And how is Miles going to get, you know, out of that situation and get away from Prowler Miles? So like, how's that fight going to go? I, I'm really, really excited because Prowler Miles have an aura about him, like you, an aura that you like. It's like you don't want to fuck with me. So it's just really, really cool. That, you know, I think this character is going to be badass in Beyond the Spider-Verse. I'm really, really hoping that Sonya don't fuck things up. And that third movie is actually really, really good to kind of end that trilogy of movies. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. But like I said, love it. I love this figure a lot. And then, of course, this is the figure himself, Miles G. Morales. I think this is a damn good looking figure. Really, really cool. The, the it, it looks, the facial, you know, face sculpt looks great. The uh, detail between this figure and also the Miles figure. I wish I had my Miles figure here to kind of do a comparison of face sculpt, but I do not have it here. But of course, you know, you could, uh, you'll look up photos and do what you will, or maybe you guys have this figure and you can kind of do a comparison your, yourself. Let me know. But to be honest, I, I, from what I can gather and what I can remember, I think the face sculpt is pretty on point from the, the Miles that I ordered from the first wave. I think it's pretty good in terms of comparison. So I'm really, really happy with that. But let's just get the figure out uh, because I'm just super, super kind of excited just to get the figure out of the packaging. And yeah, this figure looks dope. I'm really, really happy about how this figure looks. We're going to try to get it where like it zooms in for you guys. Hopefully it does because I want it to do so. But yeah, that's what the figure looks like. I think it looks pretty damn good in my personal opinion. Um, so I'm really, really excited to kind of like actually get going with my custom job and just get this figure up. And have him fight Miles because I think that I think that's what we're all gonna end up doing when we get this figure is make this Miles fight our Miles. So really, really cool. Cannot wait to do so. But yeah, I just think the detail on everything is very, very good, especially just the detail on the face. I'm actually gonna try to turn on this light real quick over here and see if it picks up a little bit better. Um, I, hopefully it will. Hopefully it will for this. To, I, I hope so because I want it to pick up on camera. There we go, there we go. So a better look at the face sculpt right there. I think it looks really, really good. And of course, if you turn the figure around, we got some cool uh, designs, of course, right here. And I really do like how he kind of has like this, 
I don't even know what you really would say. It's like coming from his belt, like these kind of like cloth pieces. They're not cloth, of course, but like in the movie, I guess they would be cloth, but that's really, really cool. And I do like the detail of the kind of gauntlets that he's wearing, the Prowler gauntlets. They look really, really cool right there. I think they look really, really good. You guys can see them right there. I think they look pretty damn good, in my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, so I think this, I really do feel like this figure looks really good. You know what I mean? If I, if I do say so myself, I think the figure looks really, really good. Um, but yeah, I especially like the shoes. And the movie, of course, his shoes are like black Air Force Ones with like purple laces, which is really, really cool. That that's kind of like the inspiration behind them is like, it's like really, really cool that I think that's, that's what they're, I think that's what they're based off of, if I'm correct. Um, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe they're supposed to be like, I don't know if they're supposed to be like Jordan ones, but like black and purple. I, I have no clue. I don't think so. I think they're supposed to be like black forces, um, high top forces with like some purple and stuff. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I really, really just love the detail here. And I'm really, really excited to kind of like do the paint custom paint job that I don't want to tell you guys what it's going to be. But I'm really, really excited to, like, start painting this figure. Uh, but we are going to be getting into, of course, the Prowler mask, which is probably my favorite part. And this is, of course, the, the piece I'm going to have on um, once I am done painting the figure. I'm not going to have that Miles G. Morales head on. We're actually going to have this Prowler head on because I just love the mask. I love how, like, it shows his, you know, braids in the back. It's really, really cool. Um, yeah, bro, it, it, this, this figures, this head sculpt's tough. Like it, it looks really, really cool. Um, and I'm really, really excited to get this figure up. Like it, it, it's truly going to be awesome. So stay tuned because I will be posting a ton of pictures once I'm done with this custom job. So stay tuned for that. But also let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this figure unboxing. Um, do you like this figure? Do you not like this figure? Is this a figure maybe that you pre-ordered that hasn't came yet? Or maybe it just came today like mine did. And just let me know, like, what, what, what was your kind of first thing that you noticed that made you really, really excited when your package came in? Um, is the figure everything you hoped it would be if you did pre-order this figure and it came in today? Is it everything you hoped it would be? And let me know what you're going to do with your figure. Are you, what, like, what shelf are you going to put it on? Are you going to make this that are you going to make uh miles g morales like prowler miles fight you know our miles are you going to do that like let me know i'm really curious to know what you guys are going to do once you get your miles g morales figure um but guys of course that was the video um of me unboxing prowler miles i hope everybody has a great day a safe day and i'll catch you guys next time peace